Here it is. Tell it like it is. Number two. <laughs> Today, I just want to make the point, the observation, that people do not know what's going on on the inside of me or you or literally anybody else. They can look at our face. They can listen to our words. They can pay attention even to the tone and our whole body language and make conclusions, draw conclusions. But they don't really know. And that's a good thing and, and, and probably a tricky thing too because it can help them sometimes if I have a really sad look on my face to pay a little more attention and offer some uh, empathy, etc. On the other hand, they don't know that what really happened is an offense and I want to see a strong response. And so they could be off. So there you go. It's tricky. The other thing is that it also means <laughs> we can't know what's going on in other people's lives either. And so even though we look at this clue and that clue and the other clue, we may be completely off. <laughs> so let's not all run around drawing conclusions and reacting or even responding to things without clarification. If I really want somebody to know what's going on in my life, I have to make the time and pay attention and share on the level that's appropriate for that relationship and vice versa. And so it's helpful to ask questions, especially if we have a strong reaction like, are you upset with me? I'm not sure. I'm just sensing something and get things sorted out. That's how life really is. Nobody can see what's going on inside another person. A lot of times we don't even know what's going on truly inside ourselves. Okay, have a great day. Bye.